Sometimes we don't need to know an exact answer. We might want just an estimate or a close enough answer. Let's see how we could do it. We've got 48 minus 12. We just want a rough idea of what that might be. Or we might want to check our answer. So we're going to round each number to the nearest 10. Well, does that mean we go up or down? Well, it can depend on the number. Let's have a look at 48. If we put that on a number line, the 4 in the tens place means that our number could go down to 40 or up to 50. So we need to choose which one. Well, let's put the numbers on the ticks there, and each of those ticks is one unit. The number 8 is actually right there. Where's number 8? There it is where the little ball has landed. Now if we look, that's closer to 50. So rounding 48 to the nearest 10, we round up to 50. What about 12? Well, the endpoints are different this time. 12 could be rounded down to 10 or up to 20. So we've got 10 and 20 as our endpoints, and 12 is 10 and two more. So 12 is there, and that's closer to the lower 10. So that's 10. And now we can estimate that the answer should be around about 40. Now, when we've got larger numbers, we can still do the same thing. Sometimes though, we might round to tens or we might round to hundreds. What we're going to do this time is have a look and see whether the answer to this problem is closer to 400, 500 or 600. Now, because we want to see which hundred it's closer to the answer, we're going to round to the nearest 10. So we don't do too much rounding and make it a little bit inaccurate. So 462, if we think of a number line, we're rounding to the nearest 10. So that's got 46 tens or 460, but it could be rounded up to 470. So that's how we choose the endpoints. And in between, each tick represents one again. Now the number two, have a look there, it's closer to 460. In fact, there is a rule for that. And we're going to look at that in a minute as well, because you don't want to do a number line all the time. Now 43 is going to be either 40 or 50, if we round it to the nearest 10. And 43 is closer to 40. So we've now got 460 plus 40, or 46 tens plus 4 tens, and that's equal to 50 tens or 500. So let's look at the answers. We wanted to know whether it was closer to 400, 500, or 600. It's closer to 500. Now the estimate is 500. But the actual answer won't be exactly 500, but it's going to be closer to 500.